Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over how to build and craft the best possible network engineering or tech resume in general. So as you guys know, having a well-crafted resume is probably one of the best things you can possibly do to be able to land a job, mainly because this is going to be the first thing hiring managers are going to look at to um, vet you as a potential candidate for a position. And if your resume is not good, you're not going to be able to land a job. And I'll tell you a quick story. So there was a student that I mentored and this student had a pretty rough resume when I looked over his resume and um, I, we looked over it and it wasn't the best. I was just like, wow, like we really need to update this resume. Um, and then we, I went ahead and we crafted a resume. We, we added some things, we changed some, moved some things around. Uh, we actually did a lot of different things to his resume. Um, and then as, essentially after that, once he was all fixed up, um, he was starting to go up, look for positions and he was able to land a network engineering position in under a month after I went and fixed his resume. So having an, uh, a phenomenal resume is going to be one of the easiest ways to be able to get your foot in the door. So a lot of people struggle with this. So in part of this video, I want to go over how to craft your resume and how to build it out to the point where you have a phenomenal resume that hiring managers are going to to be drooling over you. So let's go over this. So basically when it comes to a resume, there are some things that you have to know. Keep it simple, stupid. That's the KISS method. That essentially means whenever you have a resume, please no fluff, no like loading screens, no like colors, no, pic no pictures of yourself. Don't make it all look good. I know it looks aesthetic. I know it's something that you would want to look at, but these businesses are very bone dry and they only care about your skills and what you can do for them. So the last thing they want to see is some colorful, amazing resume. And I'll be honest, that used to be my resume myself. I had the most wonderful looking resume with all the colors and the pictures and the graphs and everything. You get no jobs. You got to keep it bone dry like this, just black text. Um, and that's it. Just one row, very simple, very elegant. So basically part of this resume that I have here, as you can see, this is actually my first resume. Um, I did some updates to it, but the first thing I want you guys to know Please do not have a summary section. Please do not have a about me section. Nonsense. That doesn't work anymore. What you need to have is experience at the top. Your experience needs to be at the absolute top of your resume. Don't put your education. Don't put your certificate. I know you want to do that because you want to hide your experience and shed it away to say, hey, I don't have experience. I don't want to show that. You need to show experience because when people look at your resume, that's all they're looking for. That is, that is all they're looking for. So please have your experience at the top, okay? This is like a non-negotiable. And then um, on your experience, if you have, a, you may, like, I'm gonna just assume you have some IT experience or very little, um, you wanna fill it up and add as much detail as possible and explain in exact detail what you do in that current role. So you want to have minimum, and this is not even the best resume, right? This is just my, one of my old resumes and I'll add a resume template below for you guys who actually want, um, or you can just schedule a call with me. Um, and when we can see how I can potentially help you and build, and build out and craft your resume. But the thing is you want to have extreme detail in your experience and put it in context. Um, cause here's the thing. If you say, Hey, I configured and, and, and troubleshot devices, what does that mean? Go in extreme detail. What devices, what troubleshooting things did you use? What tools did you use? Go in extreme detail in that part because when when you go into interviews, they're going to be looking at your resume. And if it's so vague, it's just like, I don't know what this guy person does. I'm not going to hire you based off this stuff that you added here. So that's why it's extremely important to have this dialed in. So first thing is experience at the top. And then you want to add your experience and add as much detail as possible. What if I don't have experience? I'm going to ask you this. Why don't you have experience? You're applying for a specific role. Why don't you have experience? Well, I, I need a job. Why can't you get free experience? Why can't you call businesses and say, hey, I would like to work for you for free and get hands-on experience? Go to your friend's house. Go to your, Do some work. Do some work that someone will see value in in networking, right? And I'm going to make a whole video about this, but this is important. This is critically important to have that on your resume. Okay. And, and don't be like, Oh, I need to add just projects. Just put experience, experience and projects are pretty much the same thing. Okay. So that's the thing. Experience at the top and put that there. Now, once we go a little bit lower, then you're going to want to probably put your education. I would say, you know, you put your college degree, even if you haven't finished college, I would still recommend you put it on there. Okay. Still put it on there. 
Next thing is I also want you guys to actually, I want you guys to actually also put your certifications, you know, your CCNA, whatever you have, put that on there. And if you haven't gotten it yet, still put it on there and say you're, it's in progress. That's another big thing that you can do. Uh, the next thing you can do after that is add your skill section. So your skill section is a section where you want to add all the skills that you've acquired. And ideally, you want to have those skills already part of your experience. Um, and that's a huge thing I teach to my students. And if you guys don't know, I have a mentorship program where I teach students how to build a resume, how to interview for, for positions, how to get, I have a whole course where I teach them network engineering concepts. If you guys are interested in that, please uh, schedule a call with me down below and see if I, and to see if I can help. Um, but a lot of students I've, that I've worked with, the, the key thing is part of the skill section of their resume, I always make, I try to make sure that skill section is in your experience so like you're not adding just a bunch of skills on your skill section you're adding those skills on your experience side so it can kind of add more weight to your experience because at the end of the day when they're looking at you, when these recruiters or in hiring managers looking at your resume they're, they're not spending more than five seconds they're just doing a quick look and then moving on and if it's so vague and they, like they have no idea what you're doing they're just not even gonna like care about your resume. So that's a key thing that you have to do, okay? Um, but besides that, I mean, it's it's keep, keep, keep it simple. I mean, you can just see this resume. It's so, 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 so simple. No colors, all that stuff. And this is just, a, this. like I said, this is not even my best resume. This is a resume that I've had maybe three years ago, cause, just because I have it handy. But when you're building your resume, does it have to be one page, two page, three page? It doesn't really matter. This is the most overrated thing. I would not recommend you move your resume to one page just because I need it needs to be one page. If you have enough experience, you can make it more than one page, right? My current resume now is almost three pages. Totally fine. That's totally fine. No worries. Like it doesn't matter. Okay. I know a lot of people complain about that. And then when it comes to the ATS system, all that is, is stop adding fluff to your resume, you know, have decent font, have regular, a regular looking t a resume, keep it all in one row no colors. I know you want to have colors. Do you want to get a job or do you want to have colors on your resume? It's up to you. Keep it simple. Add as much detail to your experience, maybe even 15 bullet points. My current resume has 15 bullet points on each experience. And these are not just like tiny bullet points. These are like detailed bullet points on exactly what I did in that specific role, right? So it's almost like I'm writing a whole book about what I've done in that, in that previous company, right? And that's what you want to do. And if you don't have experience, you need to get experience somehow. So that's pretty much how I would build out a resume. Very simple. Very, very simple. Keep it simple. Um, and then when you have your resume, you know, you're, it, this is going to be something that you're always going to be constantly updating. This is something that you're going to be updating day in and day out nonstop because, you know, this resume is something that you got to hold pride in. It's something that you always have to look at. Uh, you know, th there's going to be errors in your resume. You want to fix those errors as they come. Okay. And your resume is something that you, you keep iterating on. And I'm going to keep saying that you, you have to keep improving upon it. And that's what I do with a lot of my students is we, we spend a lot of times improving their resumes to make it as best as they possibly can to be able to, to land that position as a network engineer. So, I mean, it's that simple. It's that simple. I'm going to add the resume template down below. And if you guys need assistance and help on how to land a network engineering position, um, literally going from zero, I can show you exactly how to get in. Um, send, go ahead and click the link down below and I can show you exactly how. But besides that, if you found this video informative, please let me know. If you guys are also struggling with resumes um, and have any questions in the comments, please leave a question in the comment section below and I can see to see if I can help. Um, but besides that, everyone, I really, really do appreciate all your guys' time. It really does mean a lot. Um, if you guys like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. And with that being said, everyone, thank you guys so much for your time. It means a lot. And peace.